Hey makers this is Truveen and in this episode I am going to talk about how you can apply required field validation inside your power pages form most of the time we have a requirement that we cannot make the field required into dataverse table we need to sometime apply the validation conditionally or sometime it is only at the user's end so how can you apply that validation quickly and easily i am going to show you a very quick tip around that but before that if you haven't followed me on my twitter and instagram so far do follow me so let's get started in our previous episode we have created this basic form where only first name was the required field but let's say i want to make last name email and phone number as well the required field so how can i do that but here the necessary condition is that i don't want to make those field required at the database level i only want that field required at the form level so how can we implement it let's see so in our earlier episodes we have created an entity form for this development so let's open our dataverse table and go to the form section so this is the form that we have created earlier now let's say i want to apply the validation on last name and email then i simply need to select this field click on edit table column over here and from here required section make that as business recommended so let's see i am just clicking on business recommended for the last name and i am doing the same for the email field select it edit table column and make that as business recommended so this is the first step that you need to do click on save and publish and now you need to go to your basic form so this is the basic form that we have created earlier now over here you need to go to the form option and here there is an option that set recommended field as required so you simply need to check that option so let's select that and click on save and close and same change we need to apply at the edit form as well so i'm going to the edit form and i'm just applying that change at the edit form level go to the form option and select this and save and close so we did two major step one is in the entity form and second is in the basic form now let's sync and preview the changes and here we are you can simply see that last name and email now has asterisk sign and let's see if i click on submit it is showing this kind of validation for me over here as well isn't it easy if so hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me looking for any power platform consultation or training the website link is available here and all the links are available on the channel cover home page you can directly connect me over there with this this is truveen signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye